Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to crop in Drawio. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Drawio, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Cropping in Droyo is a simple process that is very helpful, especially when working with diagrams that involve images or elements that need to fit a specific layout. So once you are logged in to your Droyo account, I want you to hover to the file that you're working with. Now, in my case, I'm going to go to the file option and I'm going to import an image from my device. But in your case, if you wanted to import an image or a specific picture, from Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, JHub, and JLab, you can also do that. Now, once you have uploaded or imported the image, all you're gonna do is very easy. Right click on the image, click the crop factor. It's very easy, really. All you have to do is you have an option for the tools. You can choose the rectangle, rounded, you see that? That's gonna be the cropping factor. Or the ellipse you see so it, it's it's barely uh, dependent on your preferences for example I'm going to crop the image only click on apply all right so that also works well with diagrams for example this right click on it you don't have the uh, cropping factor right it only applies to the images right here all right now if an image has excess empty space or irrelevant details cropping can eliminate these parts to make your diagram cleaner and of course cropping helps images and elements fit ne uh, neatly within the diagrams layout ensuring your diagram doesn't have any work awkward spacing or overlap and from here you can put in connectors for example this i'm going to be using this one right here Essentially, you can work your out here within the crop factor in Droyo. It allows more control over the image sizes and can make your diagram look more uniform and organized. If you go to the file section and then export it to via the PDF, you would notice that there is also an option for the crop factor. All right. If you export that to as a PDF. So these are going to be some of your options in cropping here in Droyo. Now, let's try to export it as uh, maybe a PNG if there's a crop a factor. You see, it only applies to the PNG, uh, P PDF. But for PNG, maybe and similarly to JPEG, you don't have that option either. Now, if you go to the print option, let's see what we got here. Click the print. On the printing side, you also have an option for the crop. All right, it's very important because the idea is if you're creating diagrams a crop images can help reduce the overall size of the diagram making it easier to manage or export removing excess content can direct the viewer's attention to key points or areas in the diagram of course it can achieve a better balance in your diagram by removing unnecessary elements and creating a more focused design if you click on the preview you would notice that you have with the cropping factor and it can simplify the layout especially when working with multiple layers of content all right makes cropping task very easy and handy here in Droyo. that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one